Recursion. Yay, recursion. Screw recursion. <laughs> No, it's not. So, so, so recursion. Recursion is when you have a function that uh, calls itself. This is uh, well, there's, there's any number of reasons to do it, but one um, one of the reasons to do this would be if, um, say, you wanted to build something in um, that would normally take a for loop um, and you were uh, iterating over over numbers that um, maybe didn't didn't have a set range um, you can use recursion to define your base case and then to uh, work basically formulaic off of that not describing it very well. Okay, so let me give you an example. Okay, so say I want to do a for loop that says we got i that starts out at zero, less than eight, plus plus. I could do, okay, let's let's print out all of these integers. Percent D, I, there we go. And that prints out all the integers from, uh, from zero to seven. Yeah, from zero to seven. Um, so that's, that's certainly one way to do it. Um, or I could have a, a recursive algorithm that said, um, say, I'll use a different language. Def um, count me. Um, say n, and we'll do. Um, so the very first thing in recursion you have to do is you define your base case. At what point do you do you stop? What point do you say I I uh, can't break this down any further? Um, and in our case, we're going to say, okay, and if n equals zero, we're going to print zero. This isn't a very good example. Let's do summation. Um, so I have uh, my sum equals zero. My sum equals plus equals i. There we go. And at the end of that, we have my sum. Okay. So, so the base case when n is zero, we're just gonna they return zero. Otherwise, we will say, okay, well, I will then, instead of returning zero, I'll return my current value, n, plus everything before, n minus one. And what this does is all that is now a generic form of that, where instead of it's just for a, I can do this for any value of n. And what I do here, calling it, would be um, would be print count me. So the basic idea with recursion is you're calling yourself, but with this stop condition there, and your stop condition is your your very base condition. It helps here to um, if you know what your formula is to work out okay what are the first 
kind of few values, and then from there you can um, build essentially backwards. Simple summation, just summation, you can get more complex than this. When we're talking about looking at recursion in assembly, it's going to be crucial to identify what is my base case. Um, at what point do I does this start out with, and that's going to give you your kind of your your first value um, for when n or whatever the input is. Um, when when whatever that input is, you you follow it through. You know when it's that your base case in this case zero, it returns. Um, in this case, it's simple. It just it returns zero. But I could have said you know one here. And so it would count from from one up up through um, yeah, that wouldn't work out very well. Um, or I could have done some some kind of um, if it was one, then returns one half or something like that. But you want to identify your base case, and then you can write that out as okay. Um, in a table, um, I have and so on. Um, I would have here um, you know, zero, return zero. And let's say if I gave it, count me a value of one, it would return, well, one. If I gave it a value of two, it would return, oh, well, three. Give it a value of four, and and you just go, so on. It'll give me, <coughs> excuse me, two, three, seven. Hmm? Sorry, seven? No. Sorry, it's four, four. Two plus, four plus two plus one is six. Because oh. <laughs> I can't count. Okay. <laughs> Um, and, and so on, and, and you can kind of write them out that way. Um, but the big thing is determining what is that base case, and then what is this um, uh, addition or, or other um, typically numerical function that's happening here. And actually writing it out in pseudocode, whether you're most used to Python or you're used to C, um, you know, certainly, you want to do it as a as a for loop, but the the C equivalent of of that um, can can help you. And then writing out the the starting at the base value and then working your way. Everybody get the idea of recursion? Any any questions on just the idea of recursion itself? No. Okay. no. <coughs> Yeah, and that's what I just said, pseudocode it. So, why don't you jump into lab four, or phase four, rather.